You guys know I always like to uh, share things that are useful and good. Well, I was talking with uh, Patrick Sterling just a little while ago, and I was like, you know what would be good? To have a picture-in-picture kind of preset thing. And he said, hot dang, I'm going to get on that and make that. And so he did, and he was like, here you go. And I'm like, you're a genius. Here it is. So let's say you're playing a game and you have, you know, your game screen recording and you have your camera and they're on separate tracks and you want to do a picture in picture kind of thing. Here we have a clip recorded for us by the lovely Fuzzerino. This clip is from some of the work files in our professional workflow in DaVinci Resolve course. There's a link right here. And we have the screen recording on this first track and her camera full screen on the second track. And let's say we want to do kind of a picture in picture effect. There are a couple ways we could do that. We could select this top track and then go here to this transform overlay and turn that on. And then I can grab this and kind of move it around, do that sort of thing. I could also mask this in Fusion and do a bunch of work, or I could just use this super sweet preset by Patrick Sterling. I'll go up to effects and I already have this added. Under Sterling Supply Co, we have Picture in Picture Pro. I'll grab this and just drag it onto the clip. And now, boom, we have a very nice looking picture in picture effect here, complete with masking and a border and a drop shadow. And oh, baby, it just works really well. It's super easy. If I want to adjust this, I can make sure I have the clip selected here in the timeline and then go over to the inspector. And under effects, we have all of the different controls for this effect. So I can adjust the size of this, the position. Maybe I want to put this over here like this, rotation, whatever I want to do. And then I have a bunch of controls for the shape as well. I have several different options here, star, circle, square, or end gun. So I like to maybe use the circle. And I have a bunch of options under lips here. I can adjust the width or the height, the angle, all of those things. And I can even reframe my footage here. Just move this. Move this here so we can see it a little easier. I can adjust the position of my footage. I can adjust the scale, the rotation, basically everything that you think you might want to do, he's built in the option to change it. We also have a whole bunch of layer controls. Now this is really cool. So I can adjust the thickness of this border. I can maybe just have it half of the length. I can have this kind of rotate around. I can change the color and I can even add other copies like this one. And I can have kind of these really cool little effects. I can have this rotate a certain speed like this. So when I play it back, it has this kind of animation effect. So I can have this rotate and kind of animate over time. I can make this a texture and control the detail and everything on the texture and kind of make this rough edge if I want more of kind of an organic shape. And I mean, man, it's just really cool. All the different things that you can do with this, you can make it really fancy or you can make it really basic. I can adjust the drop shadow controls, strength of the shadow, the angle, distance, all this stuff where like even just a drop shadow, it doesn't take tons of time to add it yourself, but it's all built in here, super easy. And man, if I were gonna build this from scratch, it would take quite a while, but really easy to do here, all from the edit page. You don't need to know anything about Fusion. And you can have a really cool picture in picture effect for your games or tutorials or whatever you wanna do, anything that you'd have a little face cam on. This is just like next level tool that I think is going to be so helpful for anybody making any kind of content where you'd have, you know, your face cam over something else. So how do you get this? Well, here's the good news. It's free. Go to Sterling Supply, click on free presets. And look at that picture in picture. He's got all kinds of cool stuff here. Definitely check it out. This guy is a absolute fusion template genius. All different kinds of effects. Cool things that you can do. I just can't say enough about how awesome this kind of thing is. All you have to do is add it to your cart and hit checkout, put in your information and you can download this for free. But I would definitely recommend giving a tip of about $500 or you can pick less if you want to, but it's worth it. But you download it as a .drfx. All you have to do is double click on that and it'll ask if you want to install. You go ahead and hit install and you have the effect right here in the edit page. Saves a bunch of time. Not even surprised that uh, Patrick just knocked this one out of the park yet again. Make sure to check that out. I'll put a link in the description below to get the picture in picture preset. And hey, thank you for just being, thanks for being you, you know, because there's only one you in the whole world. And that's, that's real talk. You know, I know I've kind of meme sometimes, but that's real talk. It's true. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got.